story to tell. Russia's T-90S main battle tank is now considered to be one of the most popular modern combat vehicles in the world. There are about 1,700 vehicles on the payroll of eight countries, including India, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, Algeria, Libya, Egypt, Venezuela, and Vietnam as the latest name on the list. According to the media, on a cold winter day at the end of December 2018, the first batch of more than 30 T-90S and T-90SK tanks arrived in Vietnam. These vehicles were shipped from Russia to Vietnam by the Camilla D transport ship. According to some sources, the contract, said to be around $250 million US, for the purchase of 64 tanks including T-90S and the T-90SK command version was signed by Vietnam in 2016 and the final shipment for this contract was completed in February 2019. The Vietnamese Tank Armor Force has recently introduced great images of their new modern T-90S. Before being equipped with the first T-90, Vietnam's modern tanks were Russian T-62s, the exact number of which is unknown, but it's generally thought to be at least a few hundred. The main tanks of Vietnam currently are T-54 and T-55, and the Chinese Type 59, which are considered obsolete by today's standards. One can find information on mass media that puts the current number of these tanks to about 1,200 vehicles. Additionally, Vietnam also owns 600 PT-76 and Chinese Type 63 light tanks. The first army outside of Russia to own the T-90S was India, with their largest order numbering more than 300, and it's been reported that they would continue to buy more Russian T-90S main battle tanks even though the Indian versions were not equipped with the Stora-1 passive electronic countermeasure system. The original T-90s of the 1990s are now modernized. The new export version is equipped with an improved welding turret, ESSA thermal imaging site, a more powerful engine, and a new powertrain. India is continuing to produce T-90S under Russian license in increasing numbers. T-90 tanks themselves can be considered as Russian weapons masterpieces in the 21st century that have been tested on the fierce battlefield in Syria. Basically, the T-90S has a low profile similar to early Russian tanks. Most of the details are similar to the original T-90. A low circular turret in the middle of the hull, equipped with both active and passive protection systems, makes the T-90S the best protective tank in the world. And its fighting ability is not inferior, even surpassing the T-90A. And depending on the requirements of customers, the T-90S can be further customized with bespoke equipment options. Basically, the defense system on the T-90S consists of four layers. The first is the Stora-1, passive electronic countermeasure system to defend against laser or infrared guided missiles, as well as jamming the target guidance systems. The second layer of defense is the Arena-E active protection system, which uses Doppler radar to detect incoming warheads and intercepts them. The third layer is an external explosive reactive armor. And finally, the armor is a combination of high strength steel and composite. The true power of the T-90S armor is still a secret, but according to some estimates, the T-90A's front armor has the equivalent strength of 550 to 650 millimeters of RHA steel when dealing with APFS-DS shells or 750 millimeters of RHA steel when dealing with HEAT shells. When equipped with second generation Contact 5 explosive armor, this parameter can be increased from 800 millimeters to 830 millimeters with APFS-DS and 1150 
to 1,350 millimeters with HEAT. Other areas of the tank are thinner armor and protection is generally weaker, but it's also harder and more difficult to defeat if it's using only old style anti-tank weapons. The T90S uses special coatings made of electromagnetic wave absorbing material which minimizes sources of thermal, electromagnetic, and infrared radiation, making it difficult for enemy reconnaissance devices to detect it. In addition, the T90S is also fitted with NBC protection system, KMT mine sweeps, and an automatic fire suppression system. The T90S has a mass of 46.5 tons. It has a length of 9.53 meters, it has a width of 3.78 meters, and it has a height of 2.22 meters. The crew of three with the driver's compartment at the front, two main turret in the center, and an engine compartment at the rear. The main weapons of the T90S is a 125mm 2A46M smooth bore gun stabilized in two axis and fitted with a thermal sleeve. This is an upgrade of the Sprut anti-tank gun, which has appeared on the T72 and T80 models. The gun can be easily removed from the tank without removing the entire turret attached. The latest automatic reloading system helps the T90S tanks have a high rate of fire, about seven to eight rounds per minute, surpassing most tanks in the world with similar tactical features. The gun can fire a variety of ammunition, including armor-piercing discarding sabot, high-explosive anti-tank and high-explosive fragmentation, as well as shrapnel projectiles with time fuses. Another weapon on the T-90S is the 9M-119M Reflex Anti-Tank Guided Missile System, which NATO calls AT-11 Sniper. It can be launched from the barrel. The 9M-119M Reflex Missile has a range of 100 to 4,000 meters and only needs 17 and a half seconds to move to the maximum range. The missile is capable of piercing targets with armor up to 950 millimeters thick, as well as destroying low-flying air targets such as helicopters. The T-90S also had several auxiliary weapons, a 7.62 millimeter PKT coaxial machine gun and a 12.7 millimeter air defense machine gun. The anti-aircraft machine gun is controlled inside the vehicle. The gunner can aim while sitting inside the tank without having to stick out of the turret, reducing the possibility of casualties. The gun has a rate of fire of 650 to 750 rounds per minute in a range of two kilometers. In addition, the T-90S is also equipped with shotguns and 10 F1 grenades that are fitted inside the vehicle compartment for the crew to use in the event that they need to leave the tank for any reason. The original T-90 was equipped with an 840 horsepower V84 MS multi-fuel diesel engine. The later T-90S was equipped with a more powerful V92 S2F engine up to 1130 horsepower. The power to weight ratio reached 23.7 horsepower per ton. The T-90S can reach a maximum speed of 600 kilometers an hour and it has a range of 550 kilometers. The suspension of the T-90S is of the torsion bar type and either side consists of six dual rubber tired road wheels with the drive sprocket at the rear, idler at the front, and three track return rollers. Hydraulic shock absorbers are provided at the first, second, and sixth road wheel stations. It can cross a trench of 2.8 meters and climb a vertical obstacle of 0.85 meters. The T90S has a folding depth of 1.5 meters without preparation. The superior capability of the T90 has been most fully demonstrated in the battlefields of Syria by the Syrian National Army, which has been equipped with several Russian T-90A model tanks. 
The facts on the battlefield have shown that the T-90S tanks are very highly liable and can be easily transported by most popular military transport vehicles. In the coming years, the T-90S version will appear in the arsenals of many countries. Currently, Egypt, Kuwait, and Pakistan are said to be Russia's next potential customers. My video of Russia's T-90S main battle tank ends here. Thank you for watching. The video was completed with the voice of an Australian friend, nicknamed the Brit Sclerus. Thank you, my dear audience. Goodbye and see you again.